A thick steel cable was all that stood between Nick Wallander Ooh, that's a view there, buddy. and the bottom of the Little Colorado River Gorge near the Grand Canyon. With no safety harness, he relied on his training, self-belief and the power of prayer. Praise you, God. Praise you. Praise you, Jesus, Lord. The 34-year-old comes from an eminent line of high-wire artists that stretch back seven generations. As winds whipped around him, winds are way worse than I expected. Causing the cable to sway, he paused and simply crouched down. Despite the risks, Nick says he has dreamed of doing this since he was a teenager. It took him 22 nail-biting minutes to make the crossing. Towards the end, he felt confident enough to kneel, blow a kiss, and even run. It was way more, way more windy in the movement of the cable, and the sidewalls as I was walking were getting in the way and confusing me as the pendulums were swinging against them. So I'd try to react, and when I reacted, I'd kick that rhythm into the cable. And, it took every bit of me to stay focused that entire time. Nick Wallander has no intention of remaining on terra firma for long. He told reporters that he hopes his next stunt will be a tightrope walk between the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building in New York. Jane Francis Kelly, BBC News.